गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो टूडे विल बी रीडिंग अबाउट चैप्टर सेवन दैट इज फाउंडेशन सो इन दिस चैप्टर विल बी रीडिंग अबाउट वॉट डू मीन बाय फाउंडेशन वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ फाउंडेशन देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ फाउंडेशन विल बी रीडिंग इन दिस चैप्टर दैट इज सैलो फाउंडेशन एंड सेकेंड वन इज डीप फाउंडेशन सो बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट और बिफोर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट द फाउंडेशन इन द चैप्टर सिक्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड with you about the superstructure and the substructure part okay so what comes under the superstructure or what comes under the substructure i have already told you in the diagram of in the that was in the chapter 6 so we can say that the structure which is below the ground level that is known as substructure the structure which is above the ground level that is known as superstructure okay so what comes under the ground level that is foundations comes under the ground level okay so we can say that a foundation it is a lower portion of a building structure which are in direct contact with the ground and it all transmits the load of the superstructure to the ground so we can say that foundations also transmits all the superstructure load to the ground so next is what what are the purposes of foundations to distribute the weight of the structure over a larger area in order to avoid overloading of the soil to provide a level surface for the building operations to take the structure deeply into the ground increasing its stability and preventing from the overloading to protect the structure against the natural forces including the earthquake floods tornadoes and wind so why we should construct the foundations so we should first we should first construct about the foundations that is to distribute the weight of the structure over a larger area to avoid the overloading of the soil and to make the level surface perfect for the building construction purposes and to take the structure deeply into the ground increasing its stability and preventing from the overloading the last one is that is foundations is mainly done to protect the structure against the natural forces which includes earthquake floods tornadoes and winds okay so what are the types of foundations we'll be reading about so there are two types of foundations first is shallow foundations and second one is deep foundations okay so we, you can see here the diagram of this this is known as shallow foundations so what do you mean by shallow foundations the lower the lowest part of the superstructure in which the foundation is known as that is shallow foundations okay so we can say that the lowest part of the superstructure in which the foundations is known as that is shallow foundation a shallow foundation is responsible to transfer a load of the superstructure to the soil at the base of the substructure okay so in the shallow foundations it mainly transports all the load of the superstructure to the soil at the base of the substructure okay so if the bearing capacity of the soil is good and the structural load will not cause any settlement of the underlying soil layer then we should select the shallow foundations a shallow foundation is mostly used for the residential building construction purposes according to the tzedzaik in shallow foundation the depth of the foundation is equal or less than its width okay so we can say that if the bearing capacity of the soil is good then we can construct the shallow foundations and the structural load will not cause any settlement of the underlying soil layer so we should select the shallow foundations and in shallow foundations is mainly used in our residential purposes commercial purposes and many other purposes the shallow foundations have been constructed but in the deep foundations it has been construction constructed in our bridges so we can say that a shallow foundation is mostly used for the residential building construction purposes according to the tzedzaik in shallow foundation the depth of the foundation is equal or less than its width so we can say that according to the tzedzaik the shallow foundation in the shallow foundation the depth of the foundation is equal Or less than its width. You can see here. 
दिस इज द बेस और विथ दिस इज द डेप्थ ओके सो डेप्थ ऑफ द फाउंडेशन दिस इज द डेप्थ एंड दिस इज दिस इज इज द बेस यू कैन सी हेयर सो यू कैन से दैट द बेस इज ग्रेटर दैन द इट्स डेप्थ यू कैन सी हेयर ऑल्सो द बेस इज ग्रेटर दैन इट्स डेप्थ सो दैट वी कैन ऑल्सो से दैट दैट इज बी ग्रेटर दैन डी और वी कैन से दैट द डी दैट इज द डेप्थ ऑफ द फाउंडेशन इज लेस दैन द बी ओके दिस इज द दिस इज अकॉर्डिंग टू द टेजाइक इन द सैलो फाउंडेशन ओके सो नेक्स्ट वील बी रीडिंग अबाउट वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ सैलो फाउंडेशन मेनली इन अवर कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड बिल्डिंग परपोजेस यू कैन सी हियर इन द डायग्राम यू कैन सी हियर द इमेजेस ऑफ द फाउंडेशन सो यू कैन से वी कैन से दैट इन अवर बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड परपोजेस द सैलो फाउंडेशन दिस सैलो फाउंडेशन हैव बीन कंस्ट्रक्टेड ओके दिस काइंड ऑफ सैलो फाउंडेशन हैव बीन कंस्ट्रक्टेड फॉर एवर वॉल और यू कैन से फॉर एवर कॉलम सो नेक्स्ट वी विल बी रीडिंग अबाउट वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ सैलो फाउंडेशन so there are four types of shallow foundations first is straight footing combined footing raft or mat foundations and last one that is strap footing so we will be discussing one by one so first is spread footing so spread footings are the types of shallow foundation which transmit and distribute the point load from the structure that is column or wall to the soil we can say that it is one of the shallow it is one of the type of shallow foundation which transmits the point load you can see here i have already shown you here the diagram of is spread footings which transmits this is the point load we can say this is a point load from the struck from the column or a wall okay which transmits the column or a wall of the this load to the soil okay foundation soil it distributes all the load to the soil okay so the spread footings have been performed as masonry structures of complex rock blocks bricks and unreinforced concrete in case of the spread footing the base of a member transmitting the load to the soil is made wider so as to distribute the load over a larger area and the spread footing may be of following types that is single footing staved footing and sloped footing okay so in this spread footing as we all know that it's one of the type of a shallow foundation and you can see here i have shown you the diagram here this column or a wall we can say that this transmits the load to the soil okay to this structure or the, to the foundation soil okay and it is mainly made up of rcc reinforced concrete bricks also we can say that and in the spread in the in case of the spread footing the base of the member you can see this is the base of the member transmits all the load to the soil okay i have already told you the column or a wall load it have been transmitted to the soil okay and it consists of a three types that is single footing staved footing and sloped footing okay you can see this is known as single footing i have shown you here this is known as single footing and this is staved footing and this is sloped footing we can say that this is our section okay and this is our plan of the single footing you can see here this is one one column okay here the one column it has been placed this is the section okay this is a section and this is the plan and here it is a concrete base and it is one of the staved footing it has been staved okay you can see here this is known as staved footing this is known as section and this is known as plan of the staved footing and last one that is sloped footing you can see here the sloped footing images okay this is a section and this is the plan of the sloped footing okay you can see here it has been in the single footing it has been placed a column of square like and you can see here in the sloped footing the column has been placed like this and it has been marked okay this is known as sloped footing okay so next we will be dealing about combined footing in the next slide okay thank you